see my bed frame back here. I have to totally buy another one to go under my bed because I end up buying a new bed. And they told me that this one was a king size and it isn't. So y'all gonna have to bear with me here. Please. And if y'all see that in the way, just never mind me. But we're going to get a reading here for collective readings. Let's see, let's see. Roxanne, Roxanne. I want to be your man. Ooh, why did I start singing that? Okay, Roxanne. <laughs> Somebody could want to be your man. DFs or DN. No, well, I sung Roxanne Roxanne. They want to be your man. Okay. So we're going to see how the energy flow is pumping around here. And we pretty much know who comes to the channel. Um, if they're if they got good vibes or bad vibes. Okay. A penny went in there, a quarter, a nickel. Thirty-one percent. Okay, that's enough what we got. Okay. That's a dollar in all. That's hundred a hundred percent. A hundred and fifteen percent. A hundred and forty two percent. So we got more. It's only like probably like two people that will be visiting your channel that could be just visiting your channel to be ugly or something of that nature is what I got. But right now, the energy flow that's flowing towards this channel is like 140%. And that's good, guys. So I hope that that... Okay, let's see what we got here. A manipulator. 10, 10. And joy. You could be removing yourself from someone that you were in a connection with or you've been dealing with for 10 months, for 20 months. 10, 10 could be significant. Uh, something could have happened on October the 10th that made you aware of something jealousy in reverse this person wanted you to be jealous of maybe something that they were doing to manipulate a situation to try to steal your joy and you just did not let it happen Because your heart is open and you're receptive to love. And maybe this person, this manipulator isn't. Their heart isn't open. They're deceptive. They tried to be deceptive with you and you picked it up right off. Like this person could have maybe, you know, had been seeing you in another person and it's because you're awakened and you've seen through all of the tactics that this person was doing to try to steal your joy, to manipulate a situation. Prejudice, you could have been even on your job or someone could have like did something to do with your job or someone could have did something to try to get you messed out of a job. And they thought it would make you jealous. And you could have removed yourself. And it's all because these people are pure assed out uh, prejudice. 
And it's because your heart is opened up and you're receptive to love. You're receptive to loving people and being kind and gentle. And, you know, you refuse to let people steal your joy, even if they're jealous, is what I'm getting. And uh, jobless came in reverse. So these people thought that maybe if they did whatever they did to sabotage you, that you would be jobless and that you wouldn't have any means or ways of making your ends meet or having any money. But they're wrong because God is going to do something. Manifesting your soulmate. You're up over here, like not letting these people steal your joy because you're manifesting your soulmate. Someone could have lied on you and said that you was a man hopper and you're not. And this person just wants attention. And because maybe you didn't give them attention or whatever, they have put out all these vulgar lies on you and they're obsessive. Could be watching your social network, watching your every move, trying to figure out where you live at. Disrespectful. You could have like just dropped this person cold turkey because they were disrespectful because dis they tried to disrespect you and you wouldn't allow it they were trying to make you jealous from your job to whatever partner this was. This person tried to make you feel rejected, like in a matter I want you to feel rejected. This could be a loser that could have been on your job. They're game stalking you now. It could have been like up to three people. But it's one main person that have kept all of this going. They are gang stalking you and it's fallen in reverse. They're not going to be able to do that anymore. They want you to feel out in the cold. They want you to feel rejected. They're obsessing over you going and watching your pictures, your social network, gay, but hiding it. Someone could be gay, but hiding it, or they could be saying that you are gay, but hiding it manipulator and manipulator have felt out twice. Someone could have been celibate and someone lied on them and said that they, that you was around the clock and around the way, around the clock and up the block type person. And they're coming to find out that it was a lie. This could have been lust and not love this person that you're dealing with and you're starting to realize that because your heart is open and you're awakened or you could be awakening someone to their own game plan, their own deception, their own uh, heart not being awakened, their own tactics to try to make others jealous. This person could get physical abusive or they may have lied and said you were like that. This person is a criticizer. Whoever this person is, they have criticized your work or criticized you without even really knowing you or could have criticized you. This is because this person had no parental guidance. This person could act as though they're a gangbanger or this person could have hung out or grew up with gangbangers. This person is a child abuser or someone could have said that you are a child abuser or this person is a child abuser. This person is heavily stalking you. No affection. It's lust. Whomever this person is you were dealing with have no affection. They're stalkers and it's lust and they're down low like this. Keep falling out and they're in depression because maybe you know of this. They tried to manipulate a situation. This person could be jobless or just fair out, like right out, like not even trying to look for a job or something of that nature. This person is down low and they're a drug addict and they're depressed. 
about it because maybe you know about it. They tried to uh, disguise the situation as something else and it's not happening. You could have dealt with the person that was low-key just fair out jealous of you or wanted you to be jealous of them. This person is not telling the truth. You're a giver or you could have given to this person. This person, uh, a thief, someone's a thief. They want your gifts of talents, addicted to food. Someone is wolf and sheep. Tried to say that you were a wolf in sheep clothing, but it came out in reverse. They went around spreading lies was adamant about trying to one-up you, one-up others. This person liked to spell work for a woman to want you. This person does spell work for women to flock over them or want them. Closed treasure chest box. This person is not an open-hearted person, not open with things that they do, they say, they speak, they lie a lot, and so forth, like awaken you're awakened to the effery like you're awakened to all of this you're awakened to this person may have tried to uh test your gifts and uh this person wanted to try to steal from you wanted to steal or try to manifest money off of you or manifest something off of you they criticized you with another person i'm getting this person wanted to try to be disrespectful, but you wouldn't allow them to. This person don't love or have affection. They lust after sex. They're stalking you. I don't know if they're lusting after you and stalking you. They're a child abuser. And this person grew out up with no parental guidance is why they're where they're at. But you see through all the game plan. This could even be a person at your work. That was doing this. That's a backstabber. You're over here manifesting love, you know, loving on yourself, being celibate, healing yourself. While these people all along and went around, told tons of lies on you, projected who they were onto you, wanted to kill, steal, and rob you of everything they could. And it's because you're a lover and this person is very much a sex addict. You're a lover, you're kind, you're patient, and you're gentle with people. And they don't like that. They don't like that about you. They don't like that about you. They went to a witch doctor and they. this person is the father of lies. Like, there's no truth in this person. Like, this person will lie, lie, lie all the way to the end of time. Ooh, is a big liar. It said it, the father of lies, and then liar fell out. This person, everything that comes up out of this person's mouth is a lie. Unemotional, unavailable. This person must have like they could have grew out up without a father and a mother and it took them around the clock and up the block addicted to food someone could be addicted to food whether it's you or someone around you this person is a cheater and a woman hopper And they like to start shit. They went lying on you, saying that you were like them. Can't have children and they're bitter. This person could be connecting with someone that that they woman hop with that may not be able to have kids. Hating myself. This person is over there right now hating themselves. Because maybe you've been celibate. This person lies a lot. Is a liar. They have lied on you already. No emotions. Hating myself. This person hates themselves.
They don't have any emotions for nobody, for themselves or anyone. Didn't grow up with siblings. This person could have grew up without their brothers and sisters. This person, rejection, they deal with rejection issues. They just like, because of rejection, they gave up on life or trying to have open emotions or like they felt unloved or uncared for. That's what I'm getting. Have children, but don't want a woman with children. This person could have children, but don't want a woman with kids. This person, no job, and it came out in reverse. They don't have no job, ain't looking for a job, don't want a job. Like, just out in the streets bopping, like, could be prostituting themselves. A club bopper. This is a club bopper. In their younger days, is what I'm getting, they could have been, or they do this now to pick up people to have sex with. Have children, but don't want men with children. Someone, a female, it could be a female. She have children, but she don't want a man that have children because she's selfish. Single with no children and don't sleep around. Somebody is single with no children and don't sleep around. And what I'm getting, this could even apply for an older woman that could be in her early 40s or above. She, her, all of her kids is grown. She have children, but she don't have them. And she don't sleep around. Someone uh, could have lost you due to greed and child molestation. Someone, uh, this fell in reverse. Someone uh, could have been wanting to come up to your house or you could have been saying that this person was a child molester and you don't trust them like you didn't want them nowhere near or close to your kids or something like that. Like, this person could have asked to come over. They're gang stalking and they're disrespectful. You were celibate. Again, I state, that fell out. Stealing others' ideas. These people are on the internet stealing your ideas. Could be in your community. They're sex addicts. Haven't went to heal themselves. This could be a person that is a sex addict that's been stealing your ideas. They're pissed because you're they're a sex addict, and you could have been celibate. They're oppressed about that shit. Spell word for a man to want them. Someone that this person is dealing with did spell work with on them for them to want them. Or this could be you. No unconditional love. They project all of their stuff, who they are, onto other people. They were going around saying that you were a sex addict, and it's them. A robber and a killer. This person could have grew up around robber and killers using money to manipulate people. Someone was using money to like manipulate or they're with someone that's using money to manipulate their mind. Like they could have turned them against you. They gave them money to stay away from you. And this person still really can't stay away from you. They're stopping you. They're doing all kind of effery because your spirit is just a little too strong for them. Projection. They're projecting who they are onto you. Poor, conditioned. They're poor and they're conditioned on that. Like they could do low vibrational stuff that is constantly keeping them in a poor condition. This person is an attention seeker. They have to go from person to person, messing with all different kinds of people. This person could be physically attracted to you, though. They're physically attracted to you, unemotional. They're unemotional, available. Child molestation. Ooh, okay. This came out a while ago in the reverse, but this person could be dealing with child molestation, manifesting love. You're manifesting love and that other person is over there sitting in depression or they're going to be depressed because you're manifesting love and I hear you're going to get it. You're going to get this love rich and conditioned. This fell out in reverse because they're not rich. No parental guidance and a cheater. 
This person didn't have no parental guidance and they're a cheater. And they're a woman hopper and it's lust. It's not love. So what I'm getting, the person that they could, these persons or person that they could be cheating on them with, with you right now, if you have been in a connection with them, they don't love them. This person do not have no emotions. They are physically attracted to you. This person is unemotional available. They're a sex addict and a liar, a cheater, a thief. They could have stole some of your ideas and been trying to use them. Gay but hide it. It fell in reverse. Raped as a child. No, something told me that physical abuse. This person could have even got physically abused by someone that manipulated them. They were raped as a child. And they're gay, but hiding it. They're on a low vibration, hidden attraction to men. They got a hidden attraction to men that they sleep with, jealous of others' accomplishments. This person that you're dealing with goes to witch doctors. They pray in the arts. They play in the arts of witchcraft and spell work. They're low vibrational. They're a manipulator. They could have been physically abused. Maybe this lover that was another man abused they ass. Gay, but hiding it. This person is really gay, but they're hiding it. They was raped as a child. The reason why for a while they're like this. They dab in the dark arts. And they're, they got a hidden attraction that they have for men. Father of lies. This person lies a lot. Verbally abusive came out in a drug addict. This person could be hiding that they're a drug addict and they're verbally abusive. Gifts and talents. This person could be pissed. They're greedy, selfish. Don't think about nobody but themselves. They're accustomed to this lifestyle, this way that they do these things. No attraction, no self-motivation, no self will and clout chaser this person don't have anything going for themselves they feel that they're not they don't have no affection or the person that they with could be a clout chaser they don't have no self-motivation no self-willpower addicted to stealing and closed treasure chest box they don't think outside the box they don't think to go do things legally to help themselves they just think like in their little PP brain to be verbally abusive, hook up with people sexually, do the low vibrational stuff, jealous of others' accomplishments. This person and a liar. They're a liar and they're jealous of others' accomplishments, addicted to stealing, raised by someone was raised by their grandparents. Raised by grandparents, witch doctor, this person is used to dabbing in spell work. They go and see those folks. Fake friends, this this could have been a person that played like they were your friend and they're not, went behind your back, talking with the other person that they mess around with and they're both going to betray each other and do each other the same way. Enlightenment, you have been enlightened about this? Wasn't raised by their parents. Envy, jealous, and strife. Strife. Childhood traumas. This person is still dealing with childhood traumas that they are refusing to look at. Can't manifest money. This is a person that cannot manifest money because they will not like go and heal themselves. They have to use people to do that for them. Thieves, other other of other partners. This person sleep with other people's partners. They're a cheater. Manifesting lover. You're manifesting your lover. Money hungry prostitute. This is a money hungry prostitute that you're dealing with. Manifesting money. You're manifesting money while they're choosing to steal and be a money hungry prostitute and try to steal from someone. And they're also a cheater. 
and their envy and they're jealous of other people's accomplishments. All of this is stemming from them not wanting to heal their childhood wounds is what I'm getting, y'all. Oh, this person, drug addict. This person is a drug addict. They don't have no job. They're greedy. Manifesting their soul. You, you manifesting your soulmate. Or this person could have unknowingly manifested was manifesting that their true lover while they are on this low vibration and trying to manifest money, but probably can't or trying to manifest a lover to manifest money for themselves. Jealous of others' accomplishments. This person is gain stalking you with other people and they're jealous of other people's accomplishments. A manipulator. This person is a manipulator and a hater. Not a congratulator, a manipulator, gang stalker, club bopper, father of lies, lover, kind, gentle, and patient. You could have been loving, kind, gentle, and patient with this person. Can't have children, but they're bitter. Someone can't have children, but they're bitter. Raped as an adult. Someone could have got raped in jail, raped as an adult, got too drunk, got day raped. Closed treasure chest box, poor conditioned, a cheater, no parental guidance, attention seeker, and a child molest, child molestation. All of this they're dealing with comes from child molestation. These people was child molested, and they could have lied and said they don't. These people could have been sleeping with the same sex of people that you may know in a family, in a circle, or something of that nature. This person could have got day raped as a daughter in prison or in jail or something. This person can't have children and so they're bitter or they mess with a female that can't have children that they're bitter. You've been loving, kind, and patient with this situation. This person will lie about any and everything. Don't believe nothing that they say. They're a club bopper, a gang stalker, and a manipulator. And this person is a master manipulator. And they're a prostitute too. Poor conditioned. They're poor conditioned. They're poor and conditioned. They're a drug addict. This could have been something they was hiding from you. But you're coming to the realization of understanding. Spell work for a man to want them. This person could be shacked up with someone that did spell work on them to make them want them, to stray them away from you. Sex addict. These people are sex addicts. The person that they're with and your person. Physical abuse. This person could be, they could be over there fighting each other and smoking drugs because both of them been child molested raised by grandparents somebody was raised by their grandparents manifesting love someone is manifesting love because they like uh uh I don't want to deal with these backstabbers no more and these SHIT starters or whatever backstabbers and SHIT starters or whatever, that's what you're dealing with. A messy person that maybe like people to fight over them or something of that nature. Lust instead of love. They're lo it's lust. Jealous of others' accomplishment. They're attention seekers. So if you don't give them the attention they want, they call up other people and get it. Other somehow. Manifesting love. It's you are manifesting love or this person is a criticizer or could see you as a criticizer or drug addict. They think you're going to criticize them for doing drugs, hidden attraction to men. And you're not because you're a lover. You're kind, you're gentle, and you're patient with people that's doing, you know, behind the scenes, jacked up stuff. You're not going to judge them, criticize them, nothing. This person is thinking that, and they are afraid. Yup, I said it. You are, it fell out again. 
lover, kind, gentle, patient. You've been patient with this person. This is who you are naturally. Fake friends, no job, drug addict, robber. This person will rob you and could have been hanging around with killers, robbers and killers, gifts of talent. Want to rob you of your gifts and talents. They could try to use sex to do it because they're a sex addict. Thieves of other, this person sleep with other people's. It make them feel good and secure to sleep with other people's partners or whatever. That way they feel that they're safe or something of that nature. Attention seeker. This person is a real big time attention seeker. They start up a lot of mess and they will have backstabbed you or will backstab you. They're on a low vibration. They're down low. You're manifesting your lover. And drug addict fell out again. This person is depressed. Using money to, or someone is using money to manipulate someone. Raped as a child. Could be this female. She got this boy depressed and using money to manipulate them, stealing others' ideas. This person could watch you online or they have some valuable stuff of yours that they could be trying to steal to one-up you with your own products or items. So be leery of that, guys. So, guys, that's all I have. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye.